Welcome back to Friday Night Live on this January 7th, 2011, our first show of the year. Mike Ricker, Tony Senny, Ben Carroll on the big board tonight on the radio side, on our flagship ESPN 1700, the champ on the television side. Aaron Gurness doing the production on WHO TV 13.2, Mediacom channels 113, 246, and our High V High School headquarters. And of course, our great High V partners like Gillette, the best a man can get. Land of Lakes, trust the name where simple goodness begins, and now available in your Des Moines area. High V's Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, Nestle's Candy with Butterfinger, Nestle's Crunch and Kit Kat bars, and they're all available at all High V's across the entire state of Iowa. And of course, uh, as we say each and every uh, week, you can pick up a copy of our magazine from the Missouri to the Mississippi at the 446 Casey's and the Five Shields as well. And in our Des Moines Imports radio studios. And, of course, all the basketball scores each and every Friday night at 13now.com or iowasportsconnection.com and every Friday night Great from 10 to 11, the Grinnell Mutual Reinsurance Scoreboard Update. Now, this is not like the football scoreboard where we can give you every score fully. We'd be here two, 2 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give you the winners and the scores of games throughout the state in both girls and boys, as many as we possibly can pass along to you during the 10 to 11 o'clock hour. Did our Cracker Jack correspondent, Mark Amadale, give you the final? Yes, I do. I okay. have that. One. Of course, uh, you Cracker can hear Jack is right. Yeah, he is a Cracker <laughs> Jack. Our old buddy, he's down there watching his son Alex play for Perry City Monroe, and they've got a great team this year. I know how much fun that was years ago watching my son play. Now let's get back to the mat, back to the uh, to the room, as they say. And he's kind enough to join us each and every Friday night. Wyatt Schultz from the predicament up there in uh, Gopherland, Rochester, Minnesota, the Clash. How are you, Wyatt? I'm not doing too bad. It's uh, I, uh, it's a little snowy today, but it's been a great day for wrestling. Don't wear any Hawkeye gear up there, do you? Uh, some well, not Hawkeye gear. I wear the Iowa gear. How's that? There, there you go. There you go, my friend. <laughs> well, there are three. This is a, a great meet. I don't know if I know it's over ten years. The class, some of the best teams from around the Midwest, I go here, and of course the Waverly Shell Rocks and the Iowa City West and the Don Boscos of Gilbertville have made those treks many, many years. This year, Iowa City West not going to make it up there, but Bettendorf is there. Uh, Waverly Shell Rock is there, and Mason City, the Mohawks, have a team up there at the class this year. Right, Mason City um, had a first round. Uh, they wrestled or wrestling actually right now, um, but their uh, first round match they they had to wrestle the uh, number thirty six team in the country, that, uh, and uh, they lost a close duel. They were right in that that match, uh, and then uh, they won the next one over West Fargo. So they're in the, they're in the backside of the bracket, but that'll put them in the. Uh, um, uh, 16, a place in a rip -off, about 16th out of this 32-team uh, duel. Um, Bettendorf, Bettendorf and Waverly, um, uh, Bettendorf had the privilege of winning a couple rounds and getting Apple Valley, which is the number one team in the country, and uh, uh, they didn't handle that very well. They got beat 47-9 to nine in that Ooh. finals. But they're, they're still in the top eight in the country in this duel tournament, so... Um, it, it shows you the strength of this tournament up here. You got teams from North Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa. Uh, Brandon, and Florida came up. They're the number two team in the country. Holy moly. Yeah, and this right, is an incredible event. Yeah, right now Waverly is uh, out on the mat with number five, Simley, and Waverly is number nine. So, uh, and, and this got done beating uh, St. Michael's of Elberville, which is the number 39 team in the country. So, um, they haven't had an easy bracket either. You know, so, hey, why? You know, to talk about this this clash and this meet, this dual meet. Don Bosco, with all the tradition that they've had, they've had many times, and they've went to this national meet and went zero and zero, zero and three in the meet. I mean, and just just didn't finish well. That's how tough right. this uh, clash is. Right. At, uh, over a two day period, you wrestle six duels, three a day, and. Um, uh, uh, maybe on a normal tournament, you can get by wrestling six duels or six matches, but up here, it is so tough on you that you really get banged up and worn out, and it wears on you by the time you come around to that sixth duel. Well, you know, we just got done uh, uh, talking to the coach from uh, Albia, and he's, he was talking about that, you know, regardless of whether you're in a, a, a huge duel like this uh, for these Iowa kids uh, or, you know, or, or a, an open uh, tournament, uh, it's still practice to get yourself down to Wells Fargo Arena. So even though they're getting beat up, they're, pl they're wrestling against the, the best of the best. Uh, this is certainly something that gets them prepared for that. It certainly does. Um, to tell you the 
uh, how it does prepare for you. I just was watching uh, Cody Crumley from uh, Waverly uh, wrestle the top, uh, one of the top kids here out of Minnesota. He just got beat um, two to one in the uh, basically the ultimate tiebreaker. Um, so uh, Cody has wrestled two top twenty kids in the country already in the first two duels, and, and there's four duels left. You know what? Wrestling fans would love to have your job. The last time we had a conversation with you, you were a mat site up there in Waterloo in that great uh, event as well. Yeah, that's uh, it's a lot of fun, but i, I got to take time off of work to do this kind of work. <laughs> so, But it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I see Albia is uh, headed to Marshalltown this weekend, uh, which is a nice little... I, I think that's an invitational, not a duel, but uh, uh, that should be a nice little tournament for them. You know, you're up there in Minnesota in the class, and I mentioned Iowa City West not there like they usually are. And that's because in their, in their, in their neck of the woods, there's going to be a pretty darn good uh, wrestling tournament going there, including some teams from around this area, which involves Southeast Polk as well, a big tournament going up there. Right. That's a, that's a dual tournament. Um, Southeast Polk, Lewis Central from, from Wild West is there, Oskaloosa. And uh, they got St. James Academy out of Kansas coming in, which I'm not real familiar with. Um, but I can't imagine them uh, being too shabby if they're going to make the trek up to wrestle Iowa City West and, and Southeast Polk and Lewis Central. So that should be a great dual tournament. Well, Wyatt, your newest rankings are at individually and uh, statewide as far as the team rankings. That's uh, one thing that we follow at the Iowa Sports Connection is what the predicament does there. I know you're going to be busy this weekend up there at the Clash. Next week we'll definitely going to get a report from you <laughs> on what happened at the Clash, some of the highlight moments that you got to see. Yeah, it's uh, uh, tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to head down. There's another great tournament, the uh, Jerry Eckenrod uh, Invitation over at Benton Community, uh, Van Horn. Um, Fort Dodge is headed over this way, uh, as well as some other one, other uh, teams. Uh, it's a 16 team in, in a Invitational, and out of those 16 teams, eight of them are ranked uh, either in the uh, individual rankings or the dual rankings. And so you're going to see a lot. A lot of head-to-head -head matchups in that in that tournament. That's a that's a great tournament. That's not too far from home. How was the drive up that way on I-35? Uh, actually, from Cedar Rapids, I just head straight north up 63, oh. but it was just fine. I, uh, um, of course, didn't speed, and it <laughs> took me about three hours. All right. Well, Wyatt, we appreciate you uh, contributing each and every Friday night and everything you do at the predicament for all the wrestling fans. I know the coaches absolutely love it and the kids, and uh, uh, we, we love your uh, your passion and your commitment here at the Iowa Sports Connection. It's kind of uh, our mantra as well. Enjoy yourself, the clash, and uh, drive home safe, safely, and we'll talk to you soon. I will, and, uh, and thanks for having me. All right. Wyatt Schultz, uh, the predicament.